Hi guys and welcome to week four. This is our last week together doing fab abs. Um, I hope that you are still going strong. I know that a lot of you have been hurting, uh, especially the first and second week in. Uh, last this week you guys have actually been loving the workouts last week and uh, it's probably because we're about to finish up with this week so I'm really looking forward to seeing the results uh, at the end of this challenge which is only a few days away. Um, which today is two phases of workout. We're going to be doing a timed phase one which is going to be over and done with pretty quickly. It's three moves, three exercises, three rounds, 30 seconds, no rest in between. And then we'll be moving on to three rounds of a rep-based uh, workout. Uh, so yeah, let's get it on. We're going to start with a nice little warm-up. We're going to be applying five steps to perfect form. We're going to pop our hands together. And we're going to start to pulse our shoulders backwards. It's going to give me some good anchors, some good bum squeeze, some good core engagement here. Nice. From here... We're going to take it over to one side, nine, ten, and again, plugging in those anchors and those glutes and that core, we're going to put it apart, three, four, yes, five, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, we're going to link those hands together, really focusing on bum and anchors for this one. You're going to just use your bum to bend over, your bum to squeeze into an engaged core. You can only use your bum and your heels to make this move happen. Nice. Don't rush it. We'll be doing 10 of them. Warm up is all about engaging and activating so that your body knows that we're about to use it. I think that's 10. Do one more for luck. Perfect. From here, we're going to let those arms rest. We're going to anchor. Center of gravity is going down into those anchor points, and we're going to give that bum a bounce. Five, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. 10 evenly distributed squats with a nice bum squeeze into an engaged core. Nice, you're doing 10 of them. Perfect. Eight, nine, and 10. Nice. With those out the way, you're going to meet me down onto the floor and we're going to be going into our tabletop so that we can get those good press and tucks. We're going to engage the anchors by pressing and screwing those palms into the floor. Then you're going to press yourself into the floor. We're going to tuck that tailbone all the way in, squeeze that bum and then I want you to stick your bum all the way out. I want you to engage your bum here so that your knees are stabilised into the floor. And do five of these. Then nice and slow. So you can give it that final focus. Three. Nice. Bum squeeze. Nice, one more for five. Good work. Nice. From here, what I want you guys to do is step your anchors forwards. Two steps, one, two. You're going to push your bum down to the floor and then you're going to use your bum to press it into your hips. You use your anchors to push you down. You need to use your bum to squeeze in. And now I don't want you to chuck yourself into this movement. Uh, you shouldn't feel it in your lower back. It's a bum and anchor move. Nice. Nice. 
good to go now so let me walk you through the exercises that we're going to get up to for phase one we already know it's timed it's going to be 30 seconds for each move and no rest in between if you do need a rest at the end of the round you can have up to a minute but it's a short and quick one here so just get in there and get it done it's the last week as well so number one is going to be high knees you're going to engage so we need good chest up to the sky we're going to engage glutes core we've got great anchors to start off with one one two two uh, use your lower core to drive your legs up um, and if you need to you can always slow it down to get me the crunch just don't start flinging your back into a crunch it's pure knees led by core all good that's going to be number one number two we're coming down onto the floor to do some mountain climbers. You're gonna give me a great engagement and you're gonna, again, use your lower core to drive those knees up to the chest. If you wanted to do some obliques, you'd be absolutely free to do it. Uh, count your reps and change over as you want to. Last one here is going to be bicycles. We're gonna start on the floor. We're gonna use our upper core as our elbow lower core is our knee we're going to kiss kiss and again it doesn't matter if your elbow doesn't meet your knee what matters is the effort that your core made to get it there okay those are going to be our three exercises we've got three rounds to get through i'm going to go and stick my timer on we're going to do it ready prepare okay high knees are coming in you got five seconds three two ready Ten. keep it coming chest is up focusing on my lower core to drive my knees up to my chest I've got 15 seconds mountain climbers are coming up and there's no rest in between these exercises three two one yes. hit the floor go go mountain climbers you're gonna need to give me some great anchors these are the secret to nice stabilized climbers it lets you focus on your lower core it's a crunch we've got 10 seconds here our next move is bicycles to finish round one three two one straight round let's go no rest bum on core on two, one two push feel that crunch great Feel the burn. Seconds left. Three, two, one. Round one finished. Straight into round two. Let's go. High knees. I know. It's a killer. It's a killer combo. Totally worth it. Great way to start. The week. Seven seconds. Go, go. Mountain climbers coming your way. Let's go. On the floor. Go, go, anchors. Go, go, lower core. Nice. Crunching those legs up using the core to do it you've got 10 seconds here don't stop three two one straight round into bicycles engage one two feel feel the kiss guys don't go through motions it's going to be over pretty soon this is the end of round two 
31 round left now. Then you can rest. Go, go. Go, go. Three, two, one. Go, go. Last round. Into high knees. Chest is up. Lower core. Bringing those knees up. You can do it. Last round. Go, go. Fight it. 10 seconds. Five. Go. One. On the floor. Go, go, climbers. We're a minute away from finish. Focus on those anchors. Get that lower core to crunch. You can do it. Focus. Ten seconds here. Push. Stay with me. Three, two, one. Straight round. Finish it off. Let's go. Bicycles engage. Take it all the way. We're almost finished. Go. Eight. Push. Crunch. Feel that burn. Almost over. Three, two, one. Ah. Have a little rest. Have a little moment. I'm just going to go and turn my timer off. Oh. Get a little drink in. Well done. Good. Okay. Phase one done. Good work. <laughs> Small but mighty. Okay, so let me introduce you to phase two. We are going to be doing three rounds today of rep-based workout. We're going to be doing three exercises. I'm about to show you what they are. Number one is going to be a good old Russian twist. We're going to get our chest out. We're going to engage that bum. We're going to start to travel backwards. You'll feel the point at which your core takes over. You're going to one, one, two, two. Now you can choose your own reps here. You could do 10, 12, or 15. I'm going to do 10 um, because it's good enough. That's going to be number one. Number two, we're coming down to the floor to do some diagonal abs. So you're going to have one core as your elbow and one core as your knee, one upper and one lower. You can use your hand for some support, just lay it down by the side. You're going to engage, you're going to crunch in, you're going to put the foot back down on the floor. We're going to try and face our elbows the whole time. Um, Oh yeah, and also, uh, you can have your leg extended throughout these reps as long as it's not your lower back that's feeling it. If your lower back is feeling it, I want you to crunch it, put it back down on the floor, re-engage, and do it again. We're going to be doing 10 on each side here. Unless you've upped your Russian twist, then you have to do the same here as well. That's going to be number two. Number three, we're going to be doing some protected crunches. So we're going to extend. What I want you to do here is engage the glutes and core. And I want you to pull it in to protect it. You get that final crunch there. Then you go into massively bum squeeze as you put everything back down onto the floor. We're going to re-engage. Crunch it. Final crunch to protect. Massive bum squeeze to control it back down to the floor. We're just gonna be doing 10 there. Unless you've chosen to be brave, then you should really try and match the reps that you've put on your other exercises. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come and join me on the floor. We're about to get it done. We've got three rounds to get through. So what I want you to do is assume a position. We're grabbing the knees. We're gonna stick our chest out. We're going to massively squeeze the bum as we travel backwards. We're going to one, one, two, two. Notice three, that these are not 
quick. I'm not rushing through these. That's because I know how many reps I've got to get done. And I want to make sure I get them all done really well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. We're moving round to the floor to do some diagonal abs. So we've got core is elbow, core is knee, little balancing hand over there. Okay, you're going to engage, bum squeeze, core on, shoulders on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. I'm going to change it over. I'm going to do it again. Engage the glutes and core. One, two, feel the core, seven, eight, nine, ooh, ten, great, so moving into our protected crunches when you're ready, we're going to engage the glutes and core, let's go. Protect it, final crunch, massive bum squeeze, reset, re-engage, protect it, massive bum squeeze, re-engage, three, if your legs fall back down to the floor, you have no bum control, you need to squeeze it more, point your toes, And try to breathe out as you make that crunch happen. Seven, this is the tough one. Engage. Eight, go, go. Nine, one more then. Ten, nice. That hurts. Amazing. We're going to have a little rest if you need it. Chest out, bum on, ready for round two when you are. Let's go. Chest out, bum on. One, two, three, yes. Four, feeling good core right now. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Back on the floor. Let's go and get those diagonal crunches. Engage. One, two, three, nine, ten. Nice. Engage. Engage the bum, do it again. Meet the elbow to the knee. Notice how I breathe out every time I make a crunch happen. It's because I know that there's a more crunch to be had and you can get it with the power of your breath. Nine, ten, nice. I oh, know, we're doing good, we're doing good. Feel that burn, engage, get ready for the last 10 here for, to finish round two, engage. <sighs> Crunch, protect, massive bum squeeze. Re-engage, protect, massive bum squeeze. Again, three, massive bum squeeze. <sighs> Four. We're doing good. Every time you hit the floor, I need you to re-engage. Seven. Doing good. Go on. Feel that crunch. I know it hurts. Nine. One more. One more. Ten. Yes. 
nice round two complete that means there's just one round left here Ooh, ready when you are <laughs> we're going to uh put our chest into our knees last round i know your abs are burning because mine are so just focus that this is it you don't have to do any more after this today <sighs> chest out engage find your sweet spot one one two two feel those obliques three four I'm going to do one more for luck there because I'm not the best counter in the world. Okay, we're heading down onto the floor to do some diagonal crunches. Elbows core, knees core, stabilizing hand over there. Ready, bum squeeze core on. Make the crunch happen. Two, three, four. I know it hurts. Five, you can still do it. Six, we're not doing this again. Nine. Nice. We engage. Change hands. Let's do it again. One. Eight. Ten. Yes. Uh, love it. Last one then. Let's go, let's go. Engage the glutes and the core. We're going to protect it in three, two, one. Rawr. Massive bum squeeze. Engage. Two. Nice. Get those final crunches in. I know that they hurt. You don't have to do it again. This is our last week. Nine. Yes. Ten. Well done. Woo. Great abs. Perfect workout. Uh, great one to be starting our last week with. Um, have a little moment. Get a drink if you need it. I'm just about to take you for a nice stretch. We're going to start on the floor because we're down there already. So what I want you to do is get yourself into a nice tabletop position for me. Love it. Give me some good anchors. We're going to stabilise the knees by giving that bum a little squeeze. And then I want you to push your bum down to the floor using those anchors. If your bum isn't on the floor, it's more like here, then I want you to just step in two steps with the anchors and give yourself another push down so you get a little bit more depth it's a really nice lower back stretch down there we're going to squeeze the bum again and then i want you to start to walk your fingers all the way forward so keeping our head low nice from here we're going to take our hands over to one side and we're going to do a gentle push back off them keeping that head low And we're going to change it over, and we're going to do it over there as well. Nice. From here, what I want you to do is uh, anchor back into the centre. We're going to bring ourselves into a tabletop. We're going to step our anchors forward two steps, and then I want you to press your bum gently into your anchors. Remember that anchors are pushed and screwed all the way in, so your head shouldn't be sunk in like this. It should be up. Nice. Well done today. Great workout. We're going to push ourselves back into a tabletop. We're going to bring one knee up, one foot out the other side there. We're going to use our anchors to push us down on top of that leg. And we're going to feel this in our bum and in our hips. Love it. Whew. We're going to have a little change over then. 
one knee up, one foot out, and we're using those anchors to push us down on top of that leg. Nice glute and hip stretch. We're going to have a little turn over then. We're going to get those hammies done. We're going to have one leg flat on the floor, one leg up in the air. I'm going to do a little shimmy down, so hi, hey, yay. Shoulders on the floor. And we're going to go in for those big circles. Nine, ten. Do it again. I did five extra there, doesn't matter. It's all good for the ankles, calves. Okay, little bounce of encouragement, very gentle. Finally, you're going to straighten it. I want you to flex that toe down to your face. We're going to hold it where it hurts. Good. Perfect. You're going to put that one down on the floor, flat on the floor. We're going to pick the other one up, give it a little bit of support. I'm going to go through those big circles and the other way. Little bounce. You're going to straighten it, flex that toe down to your face, hold it where it hurts. Six. Three. Two, done. Nice. Perfect work. Thank you so much for turning up for your last week of your Fab Abs Challenge. Very impressed. Uh, and I'm looking forward to finishing up with you this week. So keep coming at me. Keep giving it everything. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, the results day. If you did manage to take me